So it looks like Mark Roman is expecting the M2 MacBook Air to be released at WWDC next week. It wouldn't be the first time we see hardware at a software event from Apple, but in this video, I'm gonna break down exactly what we expect from the M2 MacBook Air and some of the issues that Apple is having with the supply chain. So unless you're living under a rock, you know that there's a chip shortage. There are COVID lockdowns going on in China, and there's a lot of things that have been happening behind the scenes that is causing issues for Apple and them getting their products out as fast as they want to. So basically, there's a two-pronged issue. Number one is that there are lockdowns going on in China. They're not building things as fast as before. But also, we have a problem with TSMC and their chip manufacturing. They are not manufacturing the nanometer process chips fast enough or in high quality enough yield for Apple's devices that they want to release this year. Like I said earlier in the year, Apple's going to release the most products, the most hardware they have ever. And to do it in a time where the pandemic has caused issues in terms of staffing and the factories getting up and working again, it's going to be tough for Apple to actually meet their delivery deadlines. So I'm expecting the MacBook Air to be released closer to the end of the year. And we've already seen Apple has moved some of their iPad production from China to Vietnam already. So we have the AirPods and some of the iPads already being built in Vietnam. I would not be surprised if Apple moves more of their manufacturing out of China. But let's assume that Mark Gurman is correct. Let's assume that this product is gonna be released at WWDC next week. What can we expect to see from this product, right? We already know some of the things that were coming to this brand new MacBook Air. And mind you, this is the biggest redesign to the MacBook Air ever ever since it was redesigned. We're not gonna see that taper wedge design anymore. We're gonna see a design that's more reminiscent of the brand new MacBook Pros with that uniform shape, rounded edges, that thicker design that's gonna allow for more IO, bigger battery, and just an overall better clean design that's gonna bring that product into Apple's current design language. Alongside that new enclosure, we are gonna see different colors, white bezels, a chin, and less I.O. than the MacBook Pros. This is Apple's entry-level device. Most likely it's gonna stick around that $1,000 price tag, but with inflation, with supply chain issues, with the price of everything going up, expect this device not to start at $999, but start at maybe $1,199 or $1,299. As for the chip that's gonna be powering this device, the M2 chip is expected to launch with this device, also with the M2 Mac Mini. But because TSMC is having issues producing the process that Apple wanted originally for this device, don't expect a big speed jump from the M1 silicon. Think of this as like an M1.5 or an M1 version 2. They're going to call it M2, but it's not going to be as great as it possibly could have been had we not had these chip issues. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about this device if you're excited. And make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on my future content. See you guys in the next one. Peace.